We know from looking at the definition of arguments that every argument involves what we call an inferential claim. The claim that the conclusion is supposed to follow from the premises. But the question we now want to address in this section about deduction and induction is how strong is how strongly is the conclusion claimed to follow from the premises? If the conclusion is claimed to follow with strict certainty or necessity, necessary reasoning, then the argument is said to be deductive. But if it is claimed to follow only probably or with probabilistic reasoning, then it is usually best interpreted as inductive. So if we look at those definitions more carefully, we can see that a deductive argument is an argument in which it is impossible that the conclusion is false given that or assuming that the premises are true. And here's a little tip down here at the bottom of the screen. When we evaluate any argument for the rest of the semester, we're always going to begin by assuming the premises are true. When we get to questioning validity, truth, soundness, cogency, strength, et cetera, of arguments, then we'll look at the reality of whether or not the premises are true. But when we're evaluating any argument, we always begin by assuming the premises are true and work from there. So a deductive argument, it's impossible that the conclusion is false given that or assuming that the premises are true. In other words, it is necessarily the case that the conclusion follows from the premises. It's impossible that it doesn't if we assume the premises are true. An inductive argument is defined very similarly, but it works on a different kind of reasoning. It works on probabilistic reasoning. So anything having to do with probability is very likely going to be an inductive argument because an inductive argument is an argument in which it is improbable that the conclusion is false given that or assuming that the premises are true. So if you look at this example or these two examples about the meerkat that are in your textbook, we should easily be able to tell which of these is inductive and which of these is deductive. So for example, if I said the meerkat is closely related to the Surrey cat, the Surrey cat thrives on beetle larva, therefore, probably the meerkat thrives on beetle larva. I've got a little hint here with the word probably. And if I look at the next example, the meerkat is a member of the mongoose family. All members of the mongoose family are carnivores. Therefore, it necessarily follows that the meerkat is a carnivore. I've got some pretty good hints as to what type of argument deductive or inductive these arguments are simply because they've given me the word probably and necessarily. So knowing that an inductive argument works on probabilistic reasoning, this is an inductive argument because it tells us if the meerkat really is closely related to the Surrey cat, we don't know unless you're an, ex an expert on, on meerkats, I'm not. And if we assume that it's also true that the Surrey cat thrives on beetle larva, then is it probably the case that the meerkat also eats the same thing or thrives on the same type of food as the Surrey cat if it is related to the Surrey cat closely? Yes, but is it necessarily the case? Is it impossible that that conclusion is false? No. So this is much better interpreted as an inductive argument. Here, we've got the hint in the second example of necessarily, that it necessarily follows that the meerkat is a carnivore. And here's an argument that we can actually chart out using a drawing. We can say, if the meerkat is a member of the mongoose family, we can say, okay, if I use a circle to represent the mongoose family, and I say the meerkat is within that group, the mongoose family. It's a member of the mongoose family. And then I further say that every member or all members of the mongoose family are also carnivores then it would be impossible for it to be false that the meerkat is a carnivore. Because if it's inside 
the category of the mongoose family and every member of the mongoose family is a carnivore, then the meerkat necessarily has to be in the category of carnivores as well. So if it is indeed true that the meerkat is a member of the mongoose family, and it's indeed also true that members of the mongoose family, all members of the mongoose family are carnivores, then it is impossible that the conclusion that the meerkat is a carnivore is false. So that is how we tell the basic difference between a deductive argument and an inductive argument. 